Well, welcome back to this final part of this uh, product demonstration of the Nobex 7-in-1 uh, 6-drug plus alcohol saliva barrel test. Uh, we're going to show you the results now. Uh, this test has been running for five minutes and we have some nice clear results coming up on all six drug groups. Now just to talk you through, on the bottom element of uh, each of these barrels you're going to have some indicative uh, result windows showing. Now this will show you uh, a negative result where you've got a control line and a test line showing. It shows you the variation that can occur in the test lines from very strong through to very faint but you should still always interpret those as a negative. And it also gives you an indication of a positive drug test result where there is only a control line showing and no test line. An invalid test is where there's no control or test line that would tend to indicate insufficient saliva has been added to wet that membrane and run it properly. And then on the very end you've got the alcohol pad. So let's read that one first. We're looking for a comparison against this colour chart and this one is very clearly all negative. There's no blue discoloration on that one at all, so that does not indicate the presence of any detected saliva or blood alcohol. If we then move to the drug tests, you're looking at the abbreviations on the top aspect of each strip to give you the coding for which drug group you're looking at. So this one here is THC cannabis, COC for cocaine, BZO for benzos, etc, etc. So you work your way around for the individual drug groups looking for the presence of a control line and a test line. Now if we look at these you'll see that first window is negative, second strip negative, third strip negative, fourth strip negative, fifth strip negative and the sixth strip THC negative. What you will notice is the THC test result line is a lot thinner and fainter than the corresponding amphetamine or OPI test line. That's quite normal. This is a normal feature of these type of tests. You will see variation in colour density, thickness and saturation of these test lines. But as long as there is a clear control line present in every one of those, then that has to be interpreted as a clear negative result for that particular drug group. So there it is. Those tests should stay, those results should be fixed for hours. Okay. But if you do leave it for hours, what you can see is the development of very thin ghosts or T lines developing in some instances. You must interpret the results at the given window period for the results, which for this manufacturer is between three and sorry, five and ten minutes on this particular test. So anything that develops beyond that time has to be ignored. It's of no consequence. It's just the biotech continuing to run and uh, develop. But you've got to read the results which is showing at that maximum read time which is 10 minutes. So it's important to stress along with the fact that the test line can be very thin, very faint, must still be interpreted as a negative. So that's the Nobex 7-in-1 DSC 776. These products are available from the UK drug testing website. They're available to buy individually in fives or in full cartons of 25s and multiples of that from our website.